good morning guys and welcome back to another video i mean it's not going to be morning now but here it's morning it's like quarter to ten which is quite late for me i like to have breakfast really early um i woke up at about i'm sorry if you can hear the trains i'm gonna crop this bit out because it's not a vibe yeah i woke up about eight o'clock and i was at kyle's so i come home i've been with my little mabes i'll show you mabe in a sec she's on the bed with me um and i've just been chilling all morning but i'm gonna do a what i eat in a day because loads of people ask me and this isn't really a typical one i'm trying to up my speed and get like more like different food involved usually i just have like egg on toast and i'd have pasta and sauce and i have a spag bowl but i want to mix it up a bit so i thought while i'm not doing anything today it's a perfect day to just get it done so first things first i always look in my princess planning diary what i've planned for the week and i'll just talk you through that now so this is what the diary looks like um i'll leave a link to the website and i do have a code meg10 get you 10 percent off all of charlotte's stuff she's amazing um ignore my patchy fake tan by the way not a vibe but yeah so this is what it looks like inside i've got all my stickers my countdown which i'm going to literally start tomorrow um and yeah it starts like this and then these are my days so far so i've planned the week out like this i've planned my off days because i think it's important to plan your off days so you don't feel guilty for it which you should not do um this was monday i had brunch i was a bit off plan yesterday 8.5 sins i'd had all day and i did have a salad and a veggie chili so i would had so much fruit and veg yesterday it's a joke and today for breakfast i'm having beans on toast with some mushrooms for some speed got a quiche for lunch and a salmon stir fry for dinner and I always put four sins just for like what i'm gonna have for my sins basically and i might also i've had like no sins for any meal so i might have some crisps today as well with my quiche but yeah um i plan it out all week and if i need to change things i'll change things quite easily um but yeah best get making beans on toast and for anyone that wants to see mabel my baby girl i don't know if you can hear my belly then but i'm hungry gonna make some breakfast she's had scrambled egg bless her so yeah we'll go make some beans on toast now um probably won't show you me making the beans on toast because it's a bit boring but oh my god this is so annoying but yeah um i'll go and make the beans on toast and then i'll show you when it's done and i'll probably have it with a juice normally i have a green tea but it's just way too hot outside i don't know about anyone else but yeah so i'll get doing that right now okay so here's breakfast it literally is as easy as this two oh it's my little camera thing <laughs> flying down two slices of um small wholemeal loaf for your healthy extra b half a tin of beans i do think on slimming world it's really easy to overeat on free food so i tend to not have like i wouldn't have a full tin of beans for breakfast i mean you could depending on like how you get on with the scales and stuff and if you lose and whatnot but yeah i personally like limit myself to things like pasta as well um purely because i can it's so easy to overeat you could have as much as you want technically so yeah um mushrooms for speed i think i did two mushrooms but they're quite big so i've sliced them quite small and then reach over and i've got a big cup of squash my sausage dog mug how cute it's not really a mug but yeah and yeah, I don't normally eat it in my room and I'm not going to be eating it in my room. But my dad, does anyone else live with workers at home? If that's the word, I've got such a sweaty top lip. I'm sweating. This weather is no joke. Um, but yeah, because he's always on an audio call with work, like I could not just be videoing this in there and be like, shut up so i've come in here to do it and i probably will do my lunch in here as well but obviously dinner won't be um and i'm probably going to try and video me making my dinner as well my salmon stir fry i mean it's pretty self-explanatory but just adds a bit more to the clip doesn't it because it's going to be about five minutes long at this rate but um i'll show you if i snack in the day and everything as well so if you do like the video this is not even in the intro but please like and subscribe um this was a highly requested one so i'm hoping people do want to see it um but yeah a lovely sim free breakfast with some juice and then I'm probably going to go on a walk with Mabel before it gets too hot. So, yeah, I'll see you again at lunch or if I decide to snack in between. <laughs> right, I'm back. And it is now five past one. My dad's gone on a walk. So, yeah, he's going to do his audio on the walk so I can make some lunch. And I'm making a crustless quiche with some crisps and some salad so i thought i would just i might do a little cook with me sort of just show me prepping it and stuff um i'm gonna cut up i've bought a mango a melon and a watermelon so i need to cut up and prep those as well so i'll probably snack on them now between now and dinner 
because I always get hungry. So yeah, I'll take you to that. I really excuse what I look like. Like there's no way I'm putting makeup on in this heat. And my hair, anyone can relate, goes on top of my head. I mean the easiest clothes I can find that are just breathable. Like, oh, it's horrible. But yeah, let's make this key. Right, so to make this quiche, I've got some fat-free onion and chive cottage cheese. You could just use plain, but this is quite good for dipping like cucumber and carrots and stuff in if you want a snack. So I've got some of that. I've got one onion. I'm going to weigh out 40, 40 grams is one healthy extra A, but I might have one and a half because the cheesier the better. So maybe 60 grams. Um, three eggs, some cherry tomatoes, and some mushrooms. I guess you can add whatever you want in this. I follow this lemon well recipe, but I basically just follow it just for like the main measurements and divide it by four because it serves four. I only want one. Um, but yeah, these are the ingredients. I'm going to get everything chopped up and I'll talk you through it. So yeah. Right, so I have fried off onion and mushroom in there. And I've got my tray, I've got cheese weighed out, a few cherry tomatoes and the disgusting looking egg mixture. So what you have to do is pour all of that in there, add the mixture, give it a mix and top with cheese and tomatoes. So I'm going to do that just now and then I'll show you when it's all done. And here it is. Looks cute. It's a bit of a long thin quiche because this was the only thing I had to put in the oven so it's a bit long but yeah it's looking good it has to go in for 15 to 20 minutes just for everything to set so i will show you what it's like next to a big speedy salad and some fruit and maybe a yogurt and some crisps so a big fat lunch right so here is lunch it's a crustless quiche looks so yummy doesn't it where the cheese is melted um, with a big salad, I've got these, I think they're either three or three and a half sins, um, you'll have to double check, I'll leave it in the description. Um, but these are amazing little snack. And another big glass of juice, and I will have some fruit, but I've just done my watermelon, so I want it to um, cool down in the fridge first. Then I'll have it with strawberries, raspberries, bit of melon, bit of mango, but I will show you that all later. So yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy this now. Right, aircon is on full and we're going to get a Mackey's uh, drink, aren't we? We're getting a Sprite Zero because it's just too hot for her. So I think we'll take her out with some aircon on, yeah? Then we're going to go to my nan and granddad's where they've got fans and a little garden for you to have a little play. And we're going to practice safe driving, so you better get in there. Okay? So should we go and get a drink? Come on then. Okay, so I'm back. It is... 6.53 and I'm literally sweating I went to I just had enough about being in this house because we live in an apartment you see so it's literally sweltering even with all the windows open so I went to McDonald's and I had my large Sprite Zero which was obviously sin free and then I went to my nan's for a bit because she's got two fans in her house I think I've explained this anyway but yeah and um, took Mabel for a little run in the garden and I literally carried the wrapper with me just to make sure but yeah, I had a Rice Krispie Squares chocolate bar, which is not on the app. Actually, only the bigger ones on the app. This is only 26 grams. So I think it works out like six sins. So I'm going to count six for it anyway. And it was worth every single mouthful. I've got loads of fruit for pudding anyway, because I never managed to have that for lunch. I've just got no appetite. I don't know about anyone else, but in this heat, I just can't. I can't cope. Um, so... I'm gonna, I was gonna make a salmon stir fry, but I really don't fancy a stir fry tonight. So I think I'm gonna make salmon with some golden vegetable rice, um, which is sin free anyway, so it changes nothing. Um, but I don't even think I'm gonna have any speed with it because I've got fruit for pudding, I've had a big salad for lunch, and I had some mushrooms in my breakfast. And sometimes, like, not everyday speed, honestly. <laughs> I just can't be bothered in this heat, and I think when I'm having speed for pudding, it's not too bad. I'm gonna have a yogurt for pudding as well. So yeah, I'm going to make that in a bit. I'm not putting any rush on it. I feel like I've got to get it done for this vlog, but it's not really a vlog, is it? But you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that soon and I'll let you know what time I have it. Normally I eat my dinner at like six o'clock, so this is late for me, but I've got no appetite in this heat. So yeah, see you at dinner. Oh, so I just thought I'd show you the salmon and the vegetable rice that I'm going to have, both from Aldi. I get the pack of two and I tend to have one with each meal. So I think I'm going to have, I am going to have a salmon stir fry maybe tomorrow or the day after. So I will definitely use the other fillet for that. And then this is the rice from Aldi. It's 25p, sin free. And I think it's like 400 millilitres. It says like something like 425. 
if you just see there if you want to pause it there not that you need to because you're literally going to see it if you buy the pack um 425 i only put 400 in to make it a bit thicker um 25p sin free so it's perfect literally when you're looking for an easy meal like me tonight can't be bothered it's too hot yeah so sin free meal coming up so it's about half seven and i'm finally having dinner this is a massive portion of rice i'm aware but I just always have had the whole pack and it's never damaged my weight loss um so yeah savory rice and a salmon fillet i'm gonna have this probably a yogurt for pudding later and then yeah i'm up early for weighing tomorrow um so we'll see how that goes but this is my final meal so i've had three delish meals on slimming world um my sins haven't been too bad i'll check in with my sins when i do my yogurt but yeah this is dinner right so i've decided I don't want any pudding and I'm not going to force myself to have it because I don't want it. So, yeah, I'm finishing the day on nine and a half sins. So that's great. Weighing tomorrow. And, yeah, that's why I eat in a day, really. It's not a typical day, but I do tend to have salmon and rice a lot. Um, I usually start my day with egg on toast, but obviously today I was beans on toast. But, yeah, if you want me to do more of these, let me know because, obviously, finding interspo is quite hard. Um, this was more of an easy day just for convenience, really, because it's been so hot. But I can do more, whatever. Like, my literal go-to day, eating a day, like, if that's what people want. But, yeah, I thought I'd end it here. So, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe and join me for more videos. And let me know if you have any suggestions. Either DM me or leave in the comments. I'll leave my Instagram somewhere here, probably. And, yeah. See you soon.